Hey, it's Josh from Indy here, and I have some good news and some bad news and some good news about our ultralight throne project. So this is a passion project I've been working on for a while. Um, I felt like the world needed a lightweight throne that's really easy to carry to gigs. And so I set out to design that. It took a while. And we've really got a design here that I think has some really cool features and is the ultimate lightweight gigging drum throne. So first of all, the entire throne weighs about seven pounds. It's super lightweight um, and it's really easy to break down and carry to gigs. So first of all, the top just pops off from the base like this. And the cool thing about it is there's not really much that sticks off the bottom. So you can actually just throw it in a slightly deeper snare drum case or floor tom case and carry it with everything else rather than you know the ones with the post on it that's really hard to fit anywhere and kind of inconvenient to carry. Then the base breaks down really easily and super compact. So it's very easy to just throw it in your hardware case. When you're ready to set up, the top just clicks right back on and you're ready to go. The other cool aspect of this throne is something that I've had an issue with with every throne I've ever had. It's uh, a little thing called butt sweat. And I think right now the options are either you have a leather or vinyl throne that doesn't breathe and just makes your butt all sweaty, or you have a fabric throne that is just unquestionably gross after you know a few years of gigs. So on these, we just designed the top to come off really easily. You can just peel the cover off and throw it in a washing machine and then put it right back on the throne. You've always got a nice, clean, breathable cotton throne top. So the good news is we've got a design that's the throne I always wanted and I think it's the ultimate lightweight gigging throne. Now we're gonna to get to the bad news. These are super expensive to make. Um, nearly every component is made locally, um, either in our shop or very close to our shop at, at some partners that are nearby. Um, it has proven to be very costly and labor intensive. My goal was to sell these for under $500. And unfortunately, the labor and materials that go into it just don't get us anywhere close to that. The other problem is that on our pre-production run, we had some cosmetic issues that we're not able to control from some of our local suppliers. For example, some of the chrome plating is uh, discolored a little bit and uh, some of the finishing on some of the components is just not quite what I would want to see on a throne that's 500 plus dollars. So let's close it out with some good news. We have a pre-production run of these thrones, very small run, it's 15 thrones that are available. Uh, we're going to sell them at a discounted price, kind of due to the cosmetic issues and stuff like that. So they're available for 300 bucks on our website right now. They are here for a very limited time. We're going to sell this pre-production run, and then it's back to the drawing board. Um, I'm going to keep working on this project and try to get the cost and quality uh, to a point where it's a viable product going forward. Uh, but we're just not there right now. so. A few lucky people will get their hands on this pre-production run. Uh, otherwise, we're just gonna keep going and see if we can come out with a, another version in the future. We appreciate all the support and interest in this project and really hope that we can come up with an even better solution in the future.